All right, good morning, everybody. It's your boy, Akeem, and welcome to today's vlog. We are on week two of the 2017 college football season, here to give you guys a preview of the key matches to watch for this week, along with my predictions. Start earlier today between number 17, Louisville, at UNC. Now, the Tar Heels did lose 35-30 to to Cal last week, and it was a great effort by Cal quarterback Ross Bowers. And they're going to be playing against a tough, an even tougher quarterback in Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson and company did actually struggle a little bit against Purdue last week, but I think they're going to actually recharge, submerge, and charge up this upcoming week. I will go with the Cardinals over the Tar Heels in ACC play. Next up, in-state rivals, Iowa at Iowa State. Of course, I have to call this game out because it is a good... Uh, it's an in-state rivalry, and but everybody pretty much is going to agree with me. they prob probably going to go with Iowa in this one over the Cyclones. Next up, another in-state game to watch, um, Pitt, as Pitt actually travels uh, to place, uh, face number four, Penn State. Now, Nittany Lion running back Saquon Barkley had a great game last week against uh, um, Akron. Um, Akron, which he did rush for 14 uh, times for 172 yards and a couple of scores. It looked for him to have a great ma uh, matchup this week and another good game to keep his uh, Heisman candidacy up and up. Next up, number 23, TCU, the new 23rd ranked team over my Longhorns. They're going to be playing at Arkansas. This is going to be an interesting game for you guys to watch. They both are coming off good victories um, last week against their um, against uh, definitely weaker opponents. In this matchup, though, I will ask actually go with TCU and this one I do think that they're just a better team right now but it, Arkansas is an SEC team and it is an SEC opponent it's still a scare but I will go with the Horn Frogs in this matchup next up Michigan State is going to be hosting Western Michigan now last week against Bowling Green the Spartans did win 35 to 10 and Western Michigan gave USC a run for their money at, at um LA um in Southern California, which they did lose 49 to 30 to 31, I believe, but they fought hard for most of the game until USC pulled it off going towards the end of the matchup. Now Michigan State, they're looking to have a rebound season off of a terrible year last season. I'm actually gonna go with Sparty Nation in this one. I wish them the best of luck. Next up, a good revenge matchup as Oregon is going to be hosting Nebraska. The Cornhuskers did beat Oregon last week, last season, in which I did pick the Ducks to win. And I'm actually going to pick the Ducks to win again, even though Nebraska did win uh, last season. I just think that the Ducks is going to use their speed well against the um, uh, Cornhuskers. Next up, a great matchup for you guys. One of the key, ma the biggest matches of the week as number three Clemson is going to be hosting number 13 Auburn. New Clemson quarterback Kelly Bryant so far has been looking pretty good. Had a 236 yards passing against Kent State last week. Yes, it was a weaker opponent, but he will be put to the test this week against the Auburn Tigers. I will still go with Clemson uh, to pull off the victory in this one. Next up, number 24, Notre Dame is going to be hosting number 15, UGA, Georgia. Georgia running back Nick Chubb is back. Stay, he's going to stay healthy. Um, um, hopefully, he just stays healthy for the season. I do like this kid a lot. I think he's still a de decent prospect to look at for the NFL. Um, and Notre Dame, they're coming off of a good win last week as well. Both these two teams are 1-0. and oh. It's just the second week of the season. This is still a great game for everybody to watch. I will go with the Bulldogs in this one and looking for the run game to control the time of possession. Next up is my upset game of the week as number 14, Stanford, is going to be facing... At number four, number six, USC. USC was ranked fourth last week entering the season, but now they bumped back a couple of slots because Western Michigan actually put a, a, a good fight in that matchup. Look out for running back Bryce Love, who had a nice 100 over 150 yards last week, and I think he could be a great replacement of Christian McCaffrey. I think that the Stanford Cardinal offense will do a good job running the football against um, USC, but they do need to have some good passing plays as well just to bounce off the offense next up an interesting matchup for everyone is san diego state's going to be traveling to arizona state i think this is going to be a good game to watch because san diego state it did have a good season last season and arizona state they're still trying to be good become at least a good contender for the pac-12 south uh championship they've been actually becoming close for a couple of seasons i do like this game to look at so i will go with the sun devils in this matchup Lastly, my game of the week as number five OU Oklahoma is going to be traveling to Columbus to face number two Ohio State. The Buckeyes actually had a great game last season at Norman in which they pulverized Oklahoma. And I think that Oklahoma is definitely have that 
they, they're still cringing about last season's loss to the Buckeyes, and they're looking to avenge last season's loss at um, Columbus. Use the Newton, uh, Isaac Newton's uh, philosophy. You know, when you when you get um, hit hard, you give you give a direct hit back. And I just think that um, OU has a chance of doing that. But I'm not gonna go with the Sooners in this one. Now, Ohio State did struggled last week against Indiana, but I think the competition in the Big Tw Ten is better than the competition in the Big Twelve. And UTEP is actually who OU placed last week. They did, uh, the Sooners did win 56 to seven. They're looking to avenge this loss from last season, but I think the Buckeyes because of the scare last week against Indiana Urban Myers definitely has is in their ear it pretty much gave him a, I think they gave him a lesson that they can lose and lose early and I think they will have a better performance this week against the Sooners over on the uh, on the uh but when they play the Hoosiers, but I do believe that the Sooners it will be it will be a close matchup and it'll be good competition. But I am going to go with the Buckeyes in this matchup. Now the next time I catch you guys will actually be Tuesday morning, in which I will give you a recap of week this week's games. Thank you for watching this vlog. I'm your man Akeem McCall. Be easy.